Hi class, in this video we're going to go over number one in our chapter 18 homework. Um, so this is about your production functions and then the uh, marginal production of labor. Um, so the question says, golfer, excavator, produce shovels in a small factory and sell the shovel in a competitive market. The following table shows the company's production function. All right, so for the first table here, we're going to we're going to graph our total production for each level of output. Now we have a table here, so all we gotta do is just put a table onto the graph right here. Okay, so the first one will be zero and zero, second will be one and ninety, and next ones will be two at one seventy five, and then we have uh, three two forty five, four and three hundred, three hundred, and five and three twenty five. All right, so that's our production function. Now, next one, uh, we need to graph our marginal production of labor. So to find the marginal production of labor, um, this measures how much additional output you get from each additional labor. So all we got to do, remember we did like the marginal cost or marginal revenue from previous chapters? This is very, very similar. So all you got to do, just find out how much is the difference between each level of total output that is your marginal output. So from 0 to 1, the difference is 90. So for our first one, it will be um, 1 and 90. Oh, come on. OK, all right, so do you want, to, do you want us to put a 0.5? That's fine. <laughs> so the question says, um, the MTL of the first worker should be plotted a horizontal coordinate of 0 0.5. So it's going to be a 190, it should be like 0.5 and 90. All right, and for the second worker, the difference is from 90 to 175. The difference will be 85. Um, so 1.5 and 85. And for the third person, um, so from 245 to 175, so the difference is going to be 70. So 2.5 and 70. Um, next one is going to be from 245 to 300, so that will be a 55, 55. Um, last one is from 300 to 325, so the answer should be 25. There. Okay, so that's our marginal production of labor. Um, so the, the last one, so the following graph shows the demand of labor for three different price of shovels. So we have so we have three different demand curve here. Um, now the demand for labor is equal to the value of marginal product of labor. So if you guys look at the look up on your notes, um, the value for the marginal product of labor um, that equals to the price of the good times the marginal product of labor. Okay, so we have different we have different different demand curve here. Um, so let's say the question says, given the company's marginal product of labor curve shown on the second graph, so this one right here, um, which one representing the graph uh, when golfer demand for labor, um, when the price of shovel is $1. So take $1 times 90, and that should be 90, right? So if you look at the graph here, um, looks like only O shows a 90. So that is our answer, okay? So um, the O one is our demand curve when, whenever the price is $1. And then uh, when the price is two dollars, so we take two dollars, multiply by ninety again, so it'd be one eighty. So one eighty that will be over here. Okay, that's one eighty. So remember the demand for um, demand for labor it just equals to the price of the good times the marginal product of labor. All right, so let's submit it now. Oh, cool, got all three right. Okay, so guys, that's how you do number one in your chapter eighteen homeworks. Um, I'll see you for the next question. All right, bye bye.